focus a little bit on balance. Finding the strength of our core, pressing down into both of our feet, softening our jaw, softening our shoulders. Closing our hands into fists on an exhale. Inhale, opening and stretching our hands. Exhaling, closing. Inhale, opening. Slowly with our breath. If it feels nice, you can go one finger at a time. About four more of those breaths, matching our movement to our breathing. Letting go and releasing the tension of our morning. Last one, we'll let our hands open up. Lifting our right heel and placing it back down on the mat. Lifting our left side to side, warming up our ankles, either standing or we're on our chair. And keep our eyes open or closed as we can now lift our right foot all the way up, taking the weight onto the left and do some ankle rotations now, one way and then the other. And then placing that right foot back down on the mat, lifting our left, warming up our ankle with some rotations. Bring that foot back down. We'll lift our right knee up again. This time bringing that knee towards our hip height or using our chair, extending our foot forward, flexing our quad, bend again and down. Other side, we'll lift, extend and engage that top of our thigh, bend and place it down. One more, we can use our chair, our arms out for balance, flexing, bring it back and down. So there's lots of balance today, standing balance, bring it down. I need it, I need it today. Now that right foot's gonna go out again and we're opening and closing our hip. So open, close, open, close. Just notice your hip mobility, one side and then the other can have your hands at hips if you're taking care of your shoulders, open and close. So the movement happening right up here where our leg meets our, our pelvis. Bring it down and flowing mountain, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to our sides, flowing all on your own, softening our knees or having a seat on our chair for our mountain today. Connect to your breath, maybe touching our thumbs together at the top of our movements. And our pinkies coming down to touch our legs at the bottom. Turning our flowing mountain into a flowing aeroplane, hinging and going halfway down. Our chest opens and we inhale, sweep back up. Flowing between the two, our aeroplane and our extended mountain up at the top. Moving to match our breath and honoring any injuries that we might have today, any limitations with our body. That's okay. Notice them without judgment and modify our practice to suit how we're feeling today. One more flowing airplane. We'll turn this into a flowing chair, exhaling down into our chair, inhale, sweeping up. Wherever you want to have your arms, they can be staying at our heart or reaching forward and then sweeping a big circle and coming back up. Taking care of our knees and keeping our chest lifted today. We'll meet in our chair pose, bring our hands to our knees and move through cat and cow. Inhaling and opening up our chest, our elbows wrap around the rib cage towards the back. And then we go back into cat, holding onto our knees. Inhaling cow, exhaling cat. A few more. 
Let's give our quads a little rest, rise all the way up, inhale, grab our right wrist and tip over to the left, pressing into our right foot. And we'll release and sweep the other arm up, inhale, grabbing the left hand, pressing into the left foot, tipping over towards our right. We'll bring it back down now, just the right hand going up, pressing into our right foot. And now if you want to, touching your left or your right toes to the back of your heel, you can take this left hand onto your hip or now bring that foot all the way around still pressing in to your right heel and now tipping over stretching our RT bend so actively reaching through that right hand while we press into our right heel or our right foot and we'll release and do the other side our left arm going up we can have just a tip hand at our hip or reaching towards the earth or add on whatever feels nice for you. It's a little more challenging for your balance with toes touching heel. If you wanna stretch your IT band, which is something that people that ride bikes and jog would like to do <laughs> or humans in general, stretch your IT band. And then we'll bring our feet back, place our hands back behind our head. Let's open up into a back bend. It like runs up the whole side of your leg. Open up our hearts. Awesome sauce. Okay, reach our arms up, hinge forward, fold, breathe out. Let the head be heavy and hang here, or you can be stopped on your chair. You can grab your arms, your elbows, take a little rock side to side like a little rag doll. Halfway lift, so come halfway up. Hands come either to the backs of our knees or the fronts of our shins. Exhale, fold again. Our knees are softly bent and we'll flow through that a few more times. Lifting up, shoulders will roll away from the ears and our neck is long. Exhale, fold. Let's do four more with your breath. Take your time. Amazing. Last one. A nice big fold. Now we'll sweep up into our extended mountain, reaching our arms up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, bring our hands to our sides. Inhale, bring our hands back behind our head and tip back. Now we'll move into chair pose, coming into our chair. Cat back, back to a flat back. Bring our left hand over towards our right thigh and our right hand into our back, a little twist. Back to your cat back, so tuck the tailbone. Then we come flat again. Right hand, left thigh, left hand into the back. Into our cat back. Hands to heart, we stand up into mountain. Well, let's do it again. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hands to our sides, breathe out. Inhale, our back bend. Sorry, my watch. My Siri is a British man. <laughs> Going into our cat back, our chair. I should call him just sir. <laughs> Left hand over to right knee, open up into our twist. Cat back, breathe out. Twist other side, breathe in. Cat back, breathe out. Inhale, stand to mountain. Let's do it again. In exhale, hands by our sides. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hands to our sides. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, cat back, bend our knees. Twist, choose whatever side you want, open up. Exhale, cat back. Inhale, twist to the other side. Exhale, cat back. 
Inhale, stand to mountain. All right, let's take that left foot back. So we'll be turning to our moonflowers and sunflowers, or you could have a seat on your chair. Our toes pointing up towards those top edges of our mat. We'll breathe in and actively reach our fingertips out towards the corners of the room. Exhale, bend our elbows, bend our knees, and let's move through moonflowers. Flowing with your breath. Checking in with our knees that they're tracking out towards our feet. Not to one, we don't want them to go towards the center of our mat. Modifications, you can have a small bend in your knees or you can draw your elbows right down to your thighs, deep bend. Wherever we are, some space between our fingers as we stretch the palms of our hands. And we'll let go of our day. Bring your awareness into your body. Notice where you are. Close your eyes and imagine the silhouette of your body. As you flow through with your breath, you can stay with this or now we'll turn that into our sunflowers. We hinge to the mat. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hinging. Still lengthening our spine, extending through the crown of our head, bending our knees when we go towards the mat. If it feels better for you, you can hold one or both of the one pose at a time instead of flowing. We'll go back to our moonflowers keeping our chest up and just bending our elbows, bending our knees. And then holding down into goddess pose today. So we bend our knees and to make some layers available for balance. One option is to lift your heels. That doesn't feel good. Place your heels back down. And the other option is to bring our hands together up top. A little more challenging for our balance palms together, heels up or down. If the breath leaves us, then so has our yoga practice. If we're not breathing, heels go down, straighten out the legs, turn back up towards the top of our mat. We'll sweep our feet back up there, grab a little drink, and then we'll move through some sun breaths and bear pose. And we're going to do a small moon salutation today, which is great for balance. That's where the block is going to come in handy at the top of your mat for that one. Are you, do you want one to? Yeah, I want to try this out. Okay, girl, you do it. Okay, so first I'll take you through the poses. You already know your moonflower. That's this one. We'll turn towards our right toe and we go into a lunge. So you're facing up towards. Yeah, okay, so your left foot's back. We're facing the window. We go into our moonflower. Then we turn towards our right toe. The toe faces up towards me. We lift the back heel and come into a lunge. Sink down into our legs. We're taking that knee, making sure it's safely on top of our heel or behind it, not in front. Personally, I like to bring my hands to my hips and draw my foot in. Heels go down. We straighten our front leg and hinge into pyramid pose. Gazing somewhere, either right down at your toe or slightly in front of your toe to lengthen your neck. That is pyramid. And balancing half moon, the weight goes onto the front foot, the toes still facing up towards the short edge of your mat and we open up the hip and the chest towards the window. Amazing. You can stay there, your chair, your block underneath your right hand and step the left foot back. Suze, you're making me laugh when you giggle back there. It makes me giggle. <laughs> Down into our moon flowers. I know me too. Me too. This is a very hard flow. Four poses put together to challenge our balance. Hold it down in our moon flower. We turn towards the left foot, so the back of the room. Lift up the back heel, find your lunge. 
stay here for a breath or two so we won't go breath for breath just yet. Hands come to our hips. Take that right foot in a little bit so that your both heels can go down, straighten the legs, and we're hinging forward into pyramid, looking in front of our toe, our left toe, feeling a stretch down the back of our legs. You can stay here or go into your balancing half moon, left hand down on the block, and we open our chest and our hip up back up towards the window. strong ankles and then we step back to moonflower so if you had your block you could keep it in one hand and we start to flow through our moonflowers now this way if we can transfer it from one end of our block to our one end of our mat to the other hold down in your moonflower breathe out breathe in towards the right toe rise up into a lunge with or without your block one breath exhale to a pyramid pose with or without your block or your chair is also a great option here flat backs long necks and moving and opening up into balancing half moon with or without our block you can use it just as a little support under your fingertips or the full full support under your whole hands step back to moonflowers keep that block <laughs> you just got there and i'm like okay hey, now take your time great job now let's work on going breath for breath turning it into a moon salutation exhale down into moon flower inhale turn towards the back of the room lunge inhale exhale pyramid pose heels go down inhale balancing half moon left hand on the mat on the block we open up we'll stay and enjoy our our balancing half moon for three to five breaths and then step back to our moon flowers grab your block and we flow just let's do three actually just to get resettled again exhale down inhale lunge turn back up towards me exhale pyramid can stay in your pyramid it's a juicy pose or move into balancing half moon we open up inhale we'll stay there for three to five breaths exhale to moon flowers you've got your block maybe you transferred it to your other hand one two third one on an exhale then inhale into our lunge turning back towards the back of the room exhale pyramid pose shifting the hips back towards the back edge of our mat inhale balancing half moon block under our left hand amazing job exhale to moon flower all right enough of that turn up towards the top of the mat so instead of sun salutations we did our our moon salutation i'm just going to turn the the fan on it's hot. It's wonderfully warm up here. Okay. Another flow for our balance, lifting our heels up and reaching our arms up, hands together, inhale. Exhale down, hands come down. Inhale. And exhale. On your own, if you wanna try adding in the eyes closed, you can if you're on your chair just be lifting your heels so noticing when we take away the sight our core has to has to work a little bit harder has to adjust to your other senses last one wonderful okay let's bring our left elbow and our right knee towards each other this is where the block we can use the chair here Wait, no you're not cheating <laughs> i need it though there we go there then we'll open up and do the other side just bring it towards the elbow we don't have to touch or you lift that elbow as high as you can 
trying to keep the chest from dipping down too far. Whew, and release. So we, so you don't need a block for this next one. I wanted to show you a little squat flow, it's a little bit of a squat flow. You could have your chair in front. So we've got our chair or block in front of us. We go down into a forward fold. We walk our hands a little bit more forward and lift our right heel up off the mat or our right foot, bend our right knee. And now extend that right leg back behind you. Now we bring our right knee to our left calf muscle. Bend our left knee. We're in a squat. This is called a Shiva squat. We walk our hands back towards our body, bring them to heart, lift up. Or you, you might have known this as a, a plie squat. You can have your back foot on the mat if you want sometimes known as a plie squat or curtsy squat. You just bow for the queen, straight down and up. <laughs> and forward fold, breathe out. We'll do that same little sequence on the other side. We'll walk our hands forward a little bit. We have to use our core to, and then we lift our, our left foot or whatever foot you didn't use last time. Extend it back behind you. Then your left knee comes to your right calf as you bend your right knee you can place that left foot down and we lift up into our plie squat or our curtsy squat we're using our back foot just for balance forward fold breathe out great job halfway lift breathe in fold breathe out inhale rise up exhale let's bring our hands to our heart Bring our right foot up to the top of our mat and step our left foot back, back heel down, warrior one here on our, our right foot. Right foot forward, arms up, close your eyes and settle in. I think I've had the same song on this whole time. I'm sorry, ladies. A bountiful, beautiful, blissful it is. Now adding in a little more balance to our warrior one, we turn it into a lunge, lifting our back heel. Our right elbow coming in front of us, our left elbow going underneath. You can lift those elbows up towards your shoulder height, give yourself a hug or move into eagle arms, palms come together. Sink in into our legs. You can have a chair underneath your hip. From our warrior one, moving into warrior two, heel goes down. We open up now our wings and let's put our palms up. Today, giving our shoulders a rest, actively reaching through our fingertips. And it feels okay for our neck. That chin is facing towards our front hand. Soften through the shoulders, sink into both of our feet and remain present in our breath. Triangle pose, straightening our right leg, opening our palms up towards the window. We reach our right hand forward and come down into our triangle here. Lock is really helpful again for our front hand or your, or your chair. If you're taking care of that top shoulder, gently place it back behind you and still open on, or focus on keeping that chest still open towards the window. Bending our right knee, place our right elbow on our right knee, reach our left arm either up or keep it back behind you, or you can reach that left arm up towards me for extended side angle. And if it feels good or you want another layer, you lift your elbow off your knee and reach both hands up towards me. But if that starts to not feel so good in your back, then pull back, be nice. We'll gaze down at our front foot as we lift our back heel, we'll move into a lunge. 
and step to forward fold. Halfway lift, we'll breathe in, fold, breathe out. Sweep all the way up, inhale. And exhale a standing um, downward facing dog. The toes go up just a little bit. We reach our hands up above our shoulders and our hips go back. So it's like a downward dog, only here we are, not any weight on our wrists. Bending our knees, let's roll through some cat and cow poses here. And then we'll stand up again, inhale, sweep up to sky. Exhale, hands to our heart. This time our left foot up to the top of our mat, our right foot going back into our warrior one, bending our left knee. We rise up into our warrior one and find equal weight between our feet. There's our music, so we slow back there. We'll make this a little more about balance today. Lift our back heel. We end up in a lunge. Our left elbow in front, our right elbow comes under. Either our eagle arms or give yourself a lovely hug. Eyes can be open or closed. It can be a little more challenging with the eagle arms because we're blocking our sight this time. Or we close our eyes. As our heel goes down, we open up into our warrior two, our chest towards the long wall and our palms facing up today, giving our shoulders a little rest. Gazing down our front hand or keeping our eyes closed. Picture a little bird landing on your hands, keeping your breath even and still your hand still. Moving into triangle, now our palms open. We straighten our left leg, left hand forward, hinge down into our triangle, breathe. Feeling always the length of our spine in this pose. You can tuck your arm back behind you if that feels nicer. Bending our left knee, placing our left elbow on our left knee, reaching that right arm up to the sky or towards me. Still thinking of pressing into both of our feet. If you want to, you can unweight your elbow from your leg, but check in with how that feels for the back. A few more breaths, full, big, and easy. As we lift our back heel, we'll frame our front foot and push to forward fold, anchor through the front foot. Halfway up, breathe in, folding, breathing out, chair pose, breathing in. And let's add a twist on. Actually, let's walk our feet together first, just to be nicer to our knees. Right hand over across to our left thigh or forearm down across both knees or elbow to the outside or have a seat on your chair and do your twist that way. Unwinding all the way to the other side, sweeping it across. You can take a rest if you'd like to straighten your legs out in between. Don't have to stay there. Our knees stay together. All the way up, inhale, feet come back apart. Let's bring our hands out and lift our right knee again. Go back where we started for our warm up. You can keep it here or put your foot on your chair or you're seated on your chair and an extension. Now go back. The wall, chest faces the floor, palms face the floor. 
our chin looking down. Bring it all the way back up, sweep that foot through again, our balance work. And release, other side. So we've got our foot forward and then we hinge back. Stay there for a few breaths. Bring it back up and relax. Okay, tree pose with a modification if you'd like to today to have your foot on a block to make it more balancey, if that is a word. Right foot under a block or no block. You don't have to use a block, of course. We're gonna cut down our trees. <laughs> So we've got a, a block or no block. And that brings that left foot all up the mat. Let's bend our knee, open our hip and take the sole of the foot there. Or you can go into it a little differently, go out, heel in. And we have our hands up or out to the sides for a little, a little more love or hands up, palms together. A little more challenging for balance. Our ankle getting stronger. Feel the core support your body. There, don't wanna yell at you. Our trees did not fall, so really that's all good. Let's go to the other side our left foot down. So we're gonna to work towards 10 breaths for the tree on this side. Foot on the block or not on a block. Soften that left knee. We can start today with the bend, the open, the sole of our foot somewhere on our calf or on the floor. Reach our arms up or stop at, a, at the wall. If it doesn't feel nice for your ankle or your foot, can go back to having your foot fully supported by the earth, palms together or apart, lengthening through the crown of our head, feel the core come in to support our spine. How about two more breaths? And release. You guys have done a lot of work standing. We're gonna make our way down onto the mat now. Take your time. We'll go right onto a seated position. <sighs> some fun with our boat pose to add on that tricep dips that we were I think we did it last week or I was I can't remember hmm, too many classes <laughs> so we've got our regular boat pose lifting up holding on to the backs of our legs and shifting back keeping the spine long so anchoring into our sit bones and the crown of the head going up. You can stay with that nice hold on your knees. You don't have to go back too far. Or you can start lifting and lowering a foot. Our hands are off and we're bending and straightening. Feel the space across our collarbones. Our hip flexors getting stronger here. And we'll place the soles of the feet down on the mat, bring our fingertips back behind us, open up our chest and go down onto our forearms. So if it doesn't feel good to go all at the same time, go one forearm, then the other. If you want to extend your legs, the closer they are to the floor, the harder it's gonna be. <laughs> so we can put them right up if we want. As we press back up, our feet go to the floor and we engage our triceps at the back. So we can flow between those two or hold one or the other. So you can hold down here or here, or you can start to flow. As you come up, you engage the triceps, feet go down. Down we go, up and down. So that's the flow. Go down, feet extend, press up engage the core 
or hold here or hold your boat. One or the other, it's full body movement, this one. Oh, macaroni, last one. Bring the feet forward, finding the abs and your hip flexors too, right? That's a big work for your hip flexors. We'll point our toes up towards the sky. You can have a bend in your knees if that feels a little bit better and hinge into our forward fold. Let the head be heavy. We're reaching the crown of our head still long, lengthening the spine. Anchoring to your breath. Give yourself this opportunity to release tension, let go of anxiety. Forward folds are good for that. Feeling safe, feeling secure and feeling a stretch down the whole back of our body from the backs of our heels, back behind our knees, into our lower back, all the way through our spine to the back of our head, lengthening. We have lots of time today for our Shavasana. We've got a couple more moves to do for our obliques. Let's come up and you'll go one to your side. So if you need to angle your mat to see me, of course, feel free to do so. We're ending up on our side. Um, let's have our left hand extend or roll towards the window. We can all go towards the window so you can still kind of see up here. So we still have to balance a little bit. We can use our hand in front of us to help keep us steady. We'll glue our ankles together. This is what got me at Pilates on Saturday, got my obliques feeling good for the whole rest of the weekend. Glue our ankles together, lift up our feet up off the mat. Incredibly small movement, lots of stuff happening. So you feel that space kind of between your lower rib on your top side and your hip, shortening that distance and bring it down. Now take your top foot in front of you, sole of the foot on the mat. So now we get into the inner thigh. We lift our left foot up off the mat and we hang out here now the inner thigh working. We've got a stretch happening by pressing our front foot into the mat. You can do pulses if you want to. You don't have to though. It might feel better just to hold. Finding that inner thigh muscle. I love this feeling. Love it. Okay. Foot goes down. Left foot goes down. Now we are on our side and we're reaching for our top toes or our top back of our ankle for a stretch. So this is balance on the side of your body. So you still have to use your core to keep you steady here. Whoa, you might fall back, that's okay. And let's roll it over to the other side. You'll most likely be facing the wall now. We'll bring our ankles together. Rest our head on our biceps. Our left hand or whatever hand you have on top using that as a bit of a kickstand. And then we ankles together, lift up our legs up off the mat if it feels good. Breathe. Feel the strength of your obliques. We try to keep our ankles together so we're keeping the inner thighs engaged. Small movement, pretty challenging. <sighs> Feet go down, let's take the top foot in front of us and then lift the bottom leg up as we engage our inner thigh and we breathe. Let your head rest, let your jaw rest, let go of the tension in the face. You can pulse or just hold this leg up. Hold, feel the length and let that foot go down. Now we'll reach for the top leg either back behind our knee or peace fingers to our big toe. And we come into a side lying, big toe hold. And we have to use our core to keep us here. 
it's there. I, and let's all roll onto our backs. Take your time, draw your knees into chest, take a rock side to side. A full class of balance. Now it's time to massage your lower back. And we'll move into happy baby space between our knees, the soles of our feet face up towards the ceiling, or we can just hold onto the backs of our legs or the tops of our feet. Can rock or hold a hip stretch. If we rock, then we can try to rock right from one one knee or elbow all the way over to the other side. That activates your core again. And then we'll hold our happy baby. If it doesn't feel nice, our knees can be together. That feels better for you. Amazing job. Let's bring those knees back together. And move into a spinal twist as our last pose before our nice long Shavasana today. Extend the right leg long, bend our left knee, drawing that across the body, and then anchoring the shoulder blades back down to the earth. Staying present in your breath again. giving our organs, our internal organs, a little massage with this twist. Switching to the other side for 10 breaths, counting your very own breaths on this side. Wonderful. Should be around 10 breaths now. Maybe do one more big breath and then make your way to your Shavasana onto our backs, either with our knees bent or our legs extended long. We have a nice long body scan today. Get comfortable. If anyone would like eye covers, I can bring those around for you. Just raise your hand or a blanket or socks. Time for your vacation. <laughs> Just to be here. Take as much time as you need to get settled. Close your eyes. beginning to focus on the natural rhythm of our breathing. No effort. The natural rhythm. And now inhaling slowly, slowing it down. The breath traveling deep into the low belly or the low part of the lungs. And then slowly exhaling. Inhaling slowly and smoothly, allowing the breath to travel deeply into the lungs. Exhale, the air comes back up and out. Releasing the breath each time through the nostrils or the mouth. There will be small periods of silence during our body scan today to allow you to feel very comfortable in your own internal experience. 
Take a moment to make any last minute adjustments so that your body can remain as comfortable and as still as possible. Feel the breath flowing in and flowing out. Soften your face and jaw and allow the breath to flow smoothly in and smoothly out. Softening our eyes and relaxing our shoulders. Give your body permission now to feel relaxed and heavy, weighted and secure. Slowly coming back to the sound of my voice, continue to breathe and let any distracting thoughts float away. Bringing awareness to our physical sensations we're experiencing today and progressively relaxing the entire body, inch by inch. You can imagine your breath today as a white healing light traveling to these different areas of your body as you bring awareness to each part. Start by tuning into the crown of your head. Bring your awareness to the top of your head, tuning into whatever you're experiencing. There's no right or wrong. Just noticing whatever is happening for you at the top of your head. Moving your awareness to the forehead and the eyebrows. Noticing whatever is present in that part of your body. You may notice tension or maybe a feeling of relaxation. Bringing your kind awareness now to your eyes. Feel the eyelids gently resting on your eyeballs. Notice any movement of the eyes. Moving into our nose, the nostrils. Notice the moisture. Notice if you're breathing differently in your left nostril compared to your right. Feel the body breathing. Just be in your inhale and your exhale without judgment. Dropping down into the mouth, tuning into your jaw, softening our jaw. Some space between our teeth. You may notice how the tongue is resting in your mouth and let it rest. Shifting your awareness now to your neck and your throat. Notice any tension or any movement of the body with the breath in this area. Notice the way your throat to neck move with your breathing. Bringing our kind awareness now to our shoulders, 
the shoulder blades. Noticing any movement with the breath or the sensations of the clothes on your body. Allow your shoulder blades to rest and relax down towards the mat. Now bringing focus to the upper arms and the elbows. Again, just tune in to whatever's happening for you. Continue down into the forearms, the wrists. Noticing any points of contact with the backs of our arms or hands. Moving into our hands, go over the palms, the fingers, and the back of the hand. Notice any points of contact where the hands may be touching. You may notice that the temperature of the air feels different on the back of your hand than it does on your palm. Come back up into the chest and rest here a moment. Tuning in to breathing. The expansion and the contraction, the natural movement of the body itself. As we drop down into the abdomen and the stomach, notice where the body breathes there. Resting our awareness here and sticking with whatever sensations arise. Drop down into the hips, the pelvis and the sit bones. Feeling the points of contact where the body meets the mat. <laughs> Moving into the thighs, the knees. Feeling the sensations of the clothes on the body on our legs. Dropping into the calves, the shins and ankles, seeing what is present for you there. Perhaps there's ease, perhaps there's jitteriness, anxious feeling in the legs, whatever it is, be with it. Finally, moving down into the feet, going over the heel, the arch, the ball of the foot, the toes, and the top of the foot. Tune into the points of contact where the feet are touching the ground. Take a moment here to tune into the whole body together. From head to toe, feel the breath energy as it moves through your body into every cell. Getting a sense of the entire outline of your body now as it rests here.
begin opening up our awareness, beginning with the body. As you rest here in this present time experience today, see what sensations come to your attention. You can note in your head where in your body this experience is happening. As something comes up, tune into it for a moment. Continuing on to see what else arises. Just noticing <coughs> and being present in our body. And continue to open up your awareness now to include any sounds that are arising in your, from your breath or from the outside of the room. When the mind wanders, you can always return to the breath. As we make our way back to awareness, adding in the sense of smell. The sense of taste. Even with the eyes closed, noticing the sense of seeing. And finally, bringing the body back to the sounds of the breath. We'll wiggle our fingers, our toes, slowly making our way from our body scan back into the room, to the light of the room, the sounds of the room. Can move our head side to side. We can stretch long, awakening our wrists and our ankles until you're ready to roll over onto one side. You can tune into another breath from the side of your body. No rush. Once you get onto one side, you can make your way up to an easy seated position. Let's take. Our time getting up there, relax the shoulders down. Fully aware of our amazing bodies. Let's take a big breath up, reach our arms up to the sun. Exhale, draw our hands towards our heart. Inhaling some healing, some energy as we sweep up, draw that down into the heart. If it feels good, we can take a bow towards the earth. Grateful and thankful for the gifts from the earth. Namaste. Thankful for each one of you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, your Wednesday. Bye, Pauline. See you Saturday.